Hey guys, Crypto Lazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. I want to give a very brief update on the Dwarf 2 uh, Smart Telescope that I have here. So if you've been watching my channel, you've seen videos where I unboxed it, I had my first light, and then I had a preliminary review based on a few nights of use, and I had mentioned some issues, and just a few days later, <laughs> Dwarf Lab, the makers of this little uh, telescope, contacted me to tell me that they had issued a firmware update to resolve some of my issues. So this is really good, especially for a little telescope like that, that's around like, I think $500, it's like 1.5 kilograms, and it just like, I just tested the update and it works great. So what has been changed? One, they've added GoTo to a planetary objects, so planets and the moon. And I just tested it, like GoTo Jupiter, it immediately went there, no issues. That's awesome. Second thing, I had noticed that the plate solvent, uh, the um, uh, go-to algorithm really relied on the telescope being pointed in the first place to some to an area in the sky with stars and uh, that means that if it was pointed at the wall it would fail they fixed that now they do the algorithm exactly as I uh, suggested it in my previous video the telescope will go in the area of the object and plate solve there and actually I was very impressed when I just tested it it went not only in the general area of the object but it had already almost center the object each time before it even did the plate solving it's really really well done and and so it really solves that solves the one of the biggest issues that I had with the telescope which was that the plate solving and the centering of objects could be less friendly for beginners now it is friendly and that's great and it's such a quick turnaround from for dwarf and uh, the last thing that they fixed, and this is the most important for me, is they added an unlinked stretch to the uh, stacking capabilities. So the unlinked stretch means that they are going to align the colored ch channels to one another. And if you're in a very light polluted area, like here in Tokyo, that makes a big, big difference. And I just tested it very briefly on M33, and immediately the picture was perfectly clear, exactly as I expected. So this, like with this software update, uh, it, it really, really makes everything much, much better for this little telescope. And what I was already quite positive about it, and now I'm really, really positive about it. I think it is for $500, which is like, I don't know, three times, four times less than its most direct competitor. It's, uh, it's really neat. It's a neat little uh, object. Now, it's not for everyone. A lot of people will not like this little telescope, but knowing that Dwarf Lab is uh, apparently standing behind the telescope and providing such quick software updates, it's awesome. And they've also told me that they are working on an auto uh, autofocus algorithm on uh, star autofocus. And they already have the autofocus for terrestrial targets, but they're working on, on adding it for stars. And that is awesome. So I just wanted to provide this very brief update. It is actually Christmas Eve right now, so I don't want to spend too much time uh, recording videos, but wanted to put that out there. Uh, with that, uh, Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Otherwise, enjoy the weekend if you have a weekend. <laughs> but don't forget whenever you can to look up at the stars and I'll see you next time.